you want to check in with the East Coast, West Coast podcast, just send me the request. We're going to put you on. Don't make an ass of yourself. This is a professional family show. East Coast, West Coast. Right, Saucy Ed? East Coast, West Coast broadcast. It's a podcast. Podcast. But I like when you say broadcast. It's even better. Maybe that's what we should change it to. I'm going to ask Ali when he comes back. <laughs> hey, yo, Ali, what do you think of the East Coast, West Coast broadcast? I think you murdered that, oh. Saucy Ed. <laughs> The East Coast, West Coast broadcast. What does what does the millions of listeners think? Where are we checking in from? Let us know where we checking in from, everybody. Where y'all at? This is a national emergency. Is it though? It is a national emergency. Right? Okay. No? Yeah, let's run that. It's not a national emergency. Let's talk about it. It's a world emergency, bro. Saucy is a straight up genius. Yes, he yes, is. Yeah, absolutely. We agree. I agree cool. with that. That's why we got him here. For sure. Saucy, Saucy they're Thank calling you. you a genius. Oh. They know. They I see it. I understand. I told you they would see it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. But yeah. when are they yeah. going to call us the geniuses for seeing <laughs> you? Have to des- you have to deserve it. <laughs> That's Saucy Ed and his sidekicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Saucy Ed, yep. don't, don't forget about us, yep. man. When don't forget come, when you blow up. Well, yeah. are, are we your managers? Yes. Live yeah. on the air. You're saying Verbal that we are Verbal contract. Your ma- we are your managers. Managers? Like manage. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep, 45, 50%. I'm sorry, one, one more time? <laughs> 20%. What do you mean 20% of what? If I get you $1 million, uh-huh. you, you give us... You get 20%. No, no, no. <laughs> you give us 20%. So I bring right. you $1 million, You say, here, Ali's 200000 right? That doesn't even sound yes, right. Yes, it's a 20%. What is this? This is, not, this is why I hate management. Why don't we do a partnership deal right now? Let's do it. Let's do, it. Let's do a partnership. Yeah. Okay. We'll do it off the air. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to. But I think it's not. It's not fair. Twenty percent. Uh, if you give me a million, I'll give you twenty percent. What do you think is fair? What do you think is fair, Saucy? I'm just saying a million is a number. It's, it's, it's difficult. A... It's difficult to say what is fair, but but at least, of course, not twenty percent. But what do you think is a fair percent? Uh, for th- f- if three of us? No, 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 no. Uh, I get because uh, uh, I get you. Uh, let's say uh, uh, a West Coast Ali gets you a gig where you're performing or doing an excellent concert or something, uh-huh. and they say, hey, $100,000 to Saucy Ed to mm-hmm. do this. Do, uh, how much? $100,000. I'm just saying, let's just say $10. Uh-huh. No, no, $100,000 so better. $100,000 sounds, uh, is much better. Sounds, sounds better, It yes. could be million. Yeah. Okay. I want to get to the million. Yeah, okay. But yeah. if I say it's 100000 mm-hmm. we bring, we say, here, Saucy Ed, mm-hmm. this is for you. Okay. How much do you give us? Okay, it's very simple, look. My genius side, uh-huh. genius side of me. Your artistic side. My genius side, because yes. I was called yeah, genius. Don't, don't diminish. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I'm so sorry. No, I no, wasn't was like, was like, genius. Just, let so me sorry. just let me just answer. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Yeah. my genius side. Thank me that twenty percent not fair, but but twenty one. It's absolutely simple. Twenty one percent. Oh, so he just went from twenty to twenty one percent. He just gave us another percent. <laughs> one percent. He went straight up, up Russian extortion, <laughs> highway robbery. <laughs> <laughs> highway robbery. <laughs> nah, nah. You know what, Ed? We really respect you and we love you. I wouldn't even want to well, take no money from be- you. I just want to see <laughs> you just excellent. That's a lie, but it's cool. No, no. I said Whoa. I wouldn't want to, but not to say I won't. There's a lot of things I do that I don't want to do. Like? Like homeschooling my kids, man. Right now, I'm over here teaching these kids, and I'm not even the teacher. I'm like the the assistant teacher, Ed. I'm helping my wife, and I'm losing it. I got to go outside, smoke a joint every 45 minutes. Every time they switch classes, I'm going for a walk. I'm walking the dog. Switch classes. What do you mean by switch classes? You know, you go from like science, and then you go You're to math. About, okay, in, in school. In no, school. no, he's teaching but his you know, kids at, at you home. Know, now. You know where the school is now? In school, I mean at home. 
One kid is in my is in my bedroom. That's mm-hmm. that school. Then the I other see. kid is school is in the living room. Mm-hmm. So wow. the school going on like that for until two thirty in the afternoon every day, Monday to Friday. What time you start? Nine a.m. Wow, it's like you're back in school. They're putting the parents back in school. And guess what? If you ask me, do I know everything that they're talking about? Ask me. Do you know everything they're talking about? No, I don't. You don't? Seriously, yeah? Even some first grader stuff, I got to go in and, 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 and I guess I want to ask you, Ali, like, why is that? Why is it that I can't do first grader shit? Because you're not in first grade, bro, and you're, <laughs> you're doing real life shit now. You've put that shit in the back of your mind. Why in the fuck would you want to know geometry yeah, exactly. Or, or, That's I mean? exactly what it was. Or it was what like, an octa- what the difference between how a, many know, a hexagon sides? and an octagon? Are they the same size sides? Are the sides the same size? Look, bro. You get it? If there's a square rectangle, Ed, which one's got same Ed, size? Ed, Ed. Wait a second. No, Ed, no, no. Ed, Ed. Yeah. Have you been with any Puerto Rican women? No. Are they we No, I, I was asking. I'm sorry. I just wanted to know. I just look. Yo, West Coast Ali got a curious mind. A curious mind. Is there anybody that's just sending a live request? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, general over everything. Yeah, let's get the general on. Let's get the general on. Let's get the general on. Salute, general. It's one of my, I was lucky to be able to call him a mentor. General? Yeah. You know, I Amazing. learned a lot. General. Salute. What happened? Oh, yeah, there we go. Hold on. D, yo, D, yo, D can you hear yep. me? Salute, salute. Yeah, I can hear you. Yo. I'm good. I can hear you. Thank you, man. Yo, you know what we figured out? Like, today they told us that we got to wear masks. So we came and we did the podcast, but we got the masks on. Hey, 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 salute. Salute, salute. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, got, you know, you got to keep the mask on. You see, I got you know, my boy Saucy Ed with me, too. Yes. Sauce, what's up, baby? How you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. I was, uh, I seen my guy, Ali. Guy's a good friend of mine, a great man. And, Absolutely. And I had to jump on real quick. That's right. Salute. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, ready know. My brother, what's How's it going, Ali? How's, How's it going? Everything's good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're just here reporting. We're just here trying to just, you know, check in on everybody. And then we figured out how to uh, work the technology. So now we're, I'm just like a little kid right now. We're just reaching out and uh, doing these corona check-ins. How is everything over there by where you're at? Everything is good where I'm at. See, I'm a, I'm a little bit out of New York, so I'm not in the city. So in the city, it's probably where it is a little bit bad. But where I'm at, I'm a little bit like a, like 40 minutes out of the city, so I'm not really around it. But where I'm, the area I'm at is pretty okay. All right, that's good to hear. You know, one of the questions that, that everybody's wondering, we can't get the answer to is, like, what was the whole thing with, like, the, the, the misinformation and, you know, uh, everybody not moving fast enough and, you know... Why is all the toilet paper gone? The toilet paper was probably gone because everybody ran and bought it up and they bought the water up and, you know, they caused them to... It's more like putting a scare out there and they start panicking and they ran to get all the toilet paper and they probably bought up all a lot of all the water. So they be running low on them two things. Yeah, toilet paper, paper towel, and water. Yep. That's what they. That's what they um make it because I think they did that because they felt like they was gonna have to be locked in the house. They wasn't gonna be able to go nowhere for uh, a couple of weeks, so they ran and bought up everything. So if they did get stuck in the house, they have toilet paper and water. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it, 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 it's nuts. There's still not uh, some supplies out here. Still, I, I was in the supermarket shopping today. They still didn't have toilet paper or paper towels. Today, yeah, they probably on back orders on that, but you know you gotta um, 
know that the shipments come in, so they, these people get up early, and they'll be there like eight in the morning to grab up whatever they can grab, and and that's how they probably get. If you go in, you be going later, they'll probably all be gone. Yeah, I know. Um, I know that. Uh... You know, there's a the, the, there's a lot of people that's actually taking this serious, and then there's some people that's not taking it serious. Like, what's your advice? You know, like like I always took your advice in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you tell these people that's you know not listening to the warnings at least? I mean, you know, in life, it, it, it's like anything else in life. You know, even if it's not serious, you take it like it's serious. So if it is. You're okay, and if it's not serious, you're still okay. So it's better to take it serious than not take it serious. That's common sense, good advice. Uh, that's, that's real good advice. It's like, come on True. now. It's like it's like you watching people dropping like flies. We already seen it happening. Right. And then, right. And then now we now you're just wondering like, oh, should we wear masks when we're around each other? Come on, man. I'm gonna put the mask on. I'm gonna put a mask on. That's it. Simple. Yeah. What do you got to lose? You don't have nothing to lose to put the mask on. You got more to lose without the mask than with the mask. So it's better to put it on. So if it was something, you still good. If it ain't nothing, you still good. Yeah. I mean, it hurts the ear a little bit and all that. But I'd rather have this on than to. Um, than Oh, that's oh. See, he got look, look, look. Oh, wow! You really did that? Yeah. Ali got a paper clip on the back of his mask, so it's going around his head. It's not going around his ears. He killed. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> I ain't playing, man. Whatever, whatever's gonna make it work, baby. We doing whatever makes it work. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I seen you in the studio with the dog the other night. I see I work in. That was great. I know that's amazing for the culture. <laughs> Yeah, we was um, we was in um, in we Tennessee. Was in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, we was in Tennessee doing a couple of songs and did a couple. Took a break. Probably gonna go back in a couple of days. Not got a couple more. You know, Ali, I can't. You know, you've been around. You've been a great support of DMX, and you've been around for 15, 20 years, and probably one of the people that was supporting him the most out of everybody. If the world don't know that. Right. And been there through the real good times and the hard times, and supported them and and and, and, and kept them afloat. You know, I used to have to call you a thousand times to get them to do certain things, but you got it done. And not everybody going to appreciate your work, but I, I let you know that I appreciate. it. I seen it. You know, nobody tell me nothing different. I was there. I witnessed it. No, I appreciate that, D. Thank you. That means a lot coming from you. To be honest, I, I pre I'm humble. Thank you. Of course, of course, it's it's it's, it's, it's the truth. It's, you know, if, if anybody else seen what I seen, and they would say nothing different. If they could say something different, I don't know nobody that could say nothing different that was really there, that served a purpose there, not other than being a a a, a, a groupie or a fan. I'm talking about people that's working around and people that serves a purpose, other than just a fan and drinking and smoking and doing whatever else. I'm talking about people that's really playing a, a part of your life to keep you going and keep you relevant and keep you good for what it is that you're doing. So you played a great part. And, you know, I know that because I work with you. Yeah, I appreciate for, for you. I appreciate That's you love. guys giving me the opportunity, you know, like 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 back in that time, that was all new to me. Like, like, like you remember, D, I did, uh, I hooked up your, uh, your Benz, right, with the Lorenza kit and all that, right? We go back from, yeah, the, from, from the, the, Rayco um, days, Rayco. Yeah, I was in Jersey, remember, I pulled in, and I didn't even know you then. I had the, uh, what was that, the CL600? What was it, the CL, the coupe, right? Yeah, 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 it, it was the SL600, and, uh... <laughs> You was there with Ice Pick, rest in peace, Bezo. Yeah, yeah. You came with Bezo and you had Ice Pick. I remember yeah. it like yesterday, you know, and yeah. uh and, and I remember you had the silver bends, right? And you came yeah. with like, yo, I wanna do the whole thing. I wanna get the rims, I want the kit, I would did anything I showed him, he's like, all right, cool, go ahead, put it on. And uh when when he came back and he picked up the car, like, you know, of course it was done. It was done right. It, it, it was done right, and um, 
I remember D D tipped me three hundred dollars. He was like, "Here, put this in your pocket," which I really appreciated that back then. But it showed me that he appreciated the work because I really made sure it was done right, you know. And that's how, you know, D got there because you know they knew. Listen, Ali knows his shit with the cars. Right, that right, definitely, it. definitely. But you're a good person, and it just, it just, we took it from the car to other things, and then. You was able to come on the road with us and do the whole tours and everything else with us and work with us. The whole so, time of my life, man. It was the best times of my life, D. I can't even say anything different, to be honest. Hey, hey we had fun. We enjoyed you. You learned a lot. You, you, you did a lot. You seen a lot. You know, you've been all over the world. That's why I'm so, grateful for everything. That's why I'm yeah. always so thankful for the opportunity because, you know, there was a lot of people that was around that had the same opportunities too. Of course, it was it wasn't just me, but a lot of those people took it and went a lot of places, and you know they're doing great things as well. And you know you guys really created that opportunity for all of us to be able to thrive, and we still working right now, you know. And and you know yep. and and the work's never gonna stop. But yeah, we definitely had a lot of fun. Like like some of the. Forget about it. He's talking about all over the world we've traveled already. Yeah, yeah. You've been you've definitely been all over. We did a couple of, what we did, one or two tours. And, you know, you've just been there. You've been a part. And you played a great part in it. So we appreciate you as well. So no, I appreciate you're still it. working to this day. You know, I just, we just left the studio, Ali. I just was in the studio with you. Yeah, that's what I, that, that, I, I, did, I was just going to bring that up, that you was just here. Like not like right before the corona shit went out of control, D was just in LA. We were in just the studio there. with Caviar. Yep. And uh, in the studio. Yeah, we checked in with Cavi too. He's on quarantine also. Oh, he's on quarantine? Yeah, I mean, everybody's, you know, just taking it serious. Okay, okay, that's good. That's what everybody should do. Just um uh, stay on quarantine, take it serious, let this let this do what it do, take his course and and when it get better, you know, we back on it, we back at it. You know, we still, you know, quarantine don't mean that your mind is on quarantine, just your body. You can still think and make things happen. Now, D, what do you think this is? You think this is some, uh, you know, a real virus thing, or you got any any other thoughts? You know, I, I, I go as deep as it is. I don't try to be scientific, and I don't like to weigh certain things that I really don't know the answer to. Like, I can't I can't say if they put it there or it could be done because it's a virus or it could have got in. There's a thousand things it could be, but what it's not going to be is us getting it, so that's what we do know. We're going to say, right here and say, figure it out. How about that? It's the right move. Hey, you know, it, 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 the best thing you can do is protect yourself. The only thing you can be responsible for is you. You can't be responsible for other moves that other people make or however, whichever way it came in or whichever way it's here, it's here. So we got to deal with it. We deal with the problem and we figure it out until we get to a better situation and we keep on going because you know what? That's one problem. There's going to be more after that. So it's like, it's a never ending, it's a never ending situation in life. It's always going to be something. Right. Yeah, definitely. There's always, it's not one thing, it's something else. Always. I ain't never seen it I ain't never seen it be one problem, and that's the only problem you're going to have forever in your life. There's always going to be something, and you do it like you deal with it like you deal with everybody else. You deal with it the best of your ability until something else comes, and you deal with that the same way, and you keep on moving. Word, man. It's, it's crazy, though. This is one of the craziest things I've experienced in my life. I've seen war. I've seen everything else, too, but... Just like a like a virus taking this many people out is crazy to me. In twenty twenty, yeah, this is this is this is a um a different type of war. You know, this is this is a war like a virus or something. It's not like people in the street with guns or anything. This is something you can't see, so it can creep up and catch anybody if you if you're not on point and you're not protecting yourself as best as you can, which is best right at this point is just isolation. You know, trying to be a, a, as still as possible until it blows over, but it's not nothing you can control. You can stop a, a lot of other things, but you can't stop a virus because you can't see it. 
Right. It's the hidden. It's the hidden enemy. How long you been in quarantine now? I was in Tennessee, so I I, I, I left. I was probably been back. Probably been on quarantine. Probably like five, six, seven days, something like that. As soon as I got back home, I came back home and I just stayed in the house. Right. Do you know anybody who's had the virus? Mm, not nobody close. I think I heard some people tell me that uh, a friend of a friend of theirs probably had it, and somebody, a couple of people passed away that they knew somebody passed away. But that that was about it. I don't know nobody like my immediate family or friends that I deal yeah, with on the God, yeah. I've never heard nobody call me and tell me anybody did have it. Yeah, up until last week, uh, we didn't neither. But now. I know a few people who got it. I know some people who uh, also came home from the hospital. They quarantine now at home. It's just, it's, it just it's something that came out of nowhere. It's something that came out of nowhere. People just got to take take it serious and right, right. Really, is wash their hands is the best advice I could give them. You know, you you know, it's one thing, D. I wanted to ask you about this though. It's like, how long do you think people can actually? stay in the house. Because remember, this has never happened before. Do you ever remember something like this happening? Like telling you to stay in your house? No, I, I, I don't remember nothing of this happening. And as far as I can remember, I've never been able, never been told to stay in the house. Might have heard a couple of things, but never uh, stay in the house. I'm figuring they probably going to last about another two, maybe three weeks, four at most, before they figure out something else. Yeah, it's just that, it's just, you know, it's because some people, you know, are fortunate, we're fortunate enough to be able to lay low for a few weeks, right? Uh, maybe a few months, right? Like some of these projections are saying like August. But, you know, the general population of this country is so used to chasing paychecks and working and chasing and, uh, you know, living hand to mouth that, it's not possible if they're not getting it. So this whole unemployment stuff, I feel like if that stuff is real and it helps people, that's great. But there's people that this is affecting that I don't think that uh, that the government is actually thinking about. Like, that, that, like to me, I feel like it's a ticking time bomb, basically. And they they didn't do enough fast enough and... It's a little too late for whatever the hell they're trying to do, but it needs to be more. It needs to be more and long term. It shouldn't be like spoon feeding us little by little if they're going to do anything. Right. Well, you know, the government has the reasons why they do it the way they do it, and we probably won't get the whole story, which we never get the whole story. They give us some of it. But we got to work with what we got to do the best we can to protect ourselves and make sure we are right. You know, they look at it like um, in certain environments, you know, when you live from the hood and you've been in, 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 in a small area, which is the minorities, and you think, I go over there, and them people don't feel like that because they feel like they was on quarantine anyway. <laughs> they in their little area, so... It's just the way the way the mentality is, and you know you got you got the rich, you got the middle class, and you got the poor. Poor feel like they've been on quarantine, as far as they're concerned. You go to the hood; they're not they're not really going crazy about it. It's just in their lower areas, and that's it. You know what? That's a good point, actually. Anyway, we're praying for everybody and um, praying for you as well and the whole family, D. Thank you for uh, taking the time. I know it's late out there. I'm not going to keep you uh, up, man, but I appreciate you checking in. Yeah. Uh, you always support everything. And, um, yeah, we're going to check in with you again. I appreciate it, D. Is there anything else you want to leave and, and, and say before we sign off? No, but everything is great. I just wanted to check in make sure you was good. Appreciate you and um, keep in touch and tell everybody on the West Coast, the East Coast, stay safe. Thank you, D. Salute. Appreciate Salute. you, D. Appreciate you. Stay Danny. safe. All right. 
All right. Later, I'll hit you later, Ali. All right. Have a good night. All right. All right. Salute to John. He always gives you the, 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 the straight up. Yeah, he cuts to the. He cuts to the. Oh, listen, man. That's it. But people, you know, it's hard to listen. People don't like to listen. <laughs>